Right. Alright, so I had wrote down the symbols wrong last time. Get those works done. X one V X X V one one V one L X X X one These were at the top, these were the... left, these were the right, and then X, V, 1, 1, and X, 1. On the bottom right is Sean talking is he is Sean gonna do the stream now now I knew what I was it's that one isn't it Right. Let's see if I can get this to work this time. So that's the first one. Next ones. Right. So that's the top. Maybe V one, right? And another X one. Right, one, two, th no, it's just one, just one. Right. Then it's three. How was this so hard the other day? I tried this and failed miserably. You have food. Well done, Corbin. X V one one So we can kill George. Well, that person that joined us at the end of the stream seems certain that they took away the death scenes in this game. So we might not be able to kill him. X one 
and XXV118. Who broke what? Cherry, who did it? XXV. Oh, yes. Uh, bonus points for that, I hope. I knew the old Stobart finger work wouldn't let me down. Finger work, yeah. Oh, the sword. Yeah, I, I get you now. We're still trying to figure out who broke the sword. Before I left, though, there was one last thing to do. No, we're no longer looking after the guy's hole. You won't be needing Children, you'll probably want to be alone for a while. I'll be out in the garden in a little bit. George, welcome back. Come in, George. It's good to see you again. Is it? He's jealous. What did you find in Spain? Without Dante, we wouldn't have got this far, George. Yeah, I know. The clues led to an underground chamber at the bottom of a well. The Templars had left a tapestry showing a chessboard. The white pieces were vastly outnumbered. There was a stream running across the board, and a Templar knight on a horse. Does it mean anything to you, Dante? No, nothing. Maybe we should tell Dante what else you found, George. There's a map. And a Latin inscription to the west at the edge of the world. Georges found that in a cave in Syria. Yeah, where the assassin almost killed me. Then we've got the burning of Jacques de Molay and the date, 1514. From the window of the church in Montfaucon Square, one of the few places where nobody tried to kill me. Then we have the image of a church that Georges found at the excavation. I don't recall anyone trying to kill you there either, Georges. And finally, we have the tapestry in Spain. Did I mention I almost got killed there? Not yet. Have a good luck, sure Miss. It was only my cat-like reflexes that saved me from certain death. Cat-like reflexes, eh? And while I was risking life and limb, where were you, Andre? Getting your glasses fogged up over an Etruscan vase? That's enough, boys. Can we get back to saving the world? Of course. My apologies. He started it. Well, uh, the Latin phrase are the words of Julius Caesar. He was describing the island of Britain. Are you sure? The map didn't look much like Britain. How come Caesar described Britain as being at the edge of the world? To the Romans, the Mediterranean was the center of the universe. Britain was a remote and friendly place inhabited by blue painted savages. Hell yeah! It hasn't changed much. Wow! Well, they stopped painting themselves blue. Except when they go to a football match. They used an extract from a plant called Woad, Isetis tinctoria. The Scots were using it until fairly recently in the war in English. Fairly recently? I don't recall the Scots being at war with the English. How recently are you talking about? I believe William Wallace's men used it in the 13th century. They might well have been using it as late as... Uh, you can't remember, can you? 1314. Ah, we're back onto that, are we? Andre, what is it? What do you mean? 1314 in Scotland, the Battle of Bannockburn. That would explain the stream on the chessboard. That's what a burn is. Right, Andre, as in Bannockburn? Right, George. And it gets better. Tradition has it that the Scots were helped by a shot. I know, right? The guy didn't even know where Ireland is, and now he thinks he knows what Britain looks like. Yes, a group of outlawed Templars. They are said to have turned the tide for the Scots. I knew we were going somewhere in Britain. In the Isle of Britain at Bannockburn in a church. What are we waiting for? I'll call a cab. I can't go. Andre, you've been loads of help, but 
What George is trying to say is that you shouldn't feel guilty. I what? We understand you've got commitments. But listen, we have to hurry. Let's go, George. Look, he's being rather dickish to a guy who's literally only just joined their group. Who has no real idea what's going on. Who's actually intelligent. Where are you going, George? Do I need to spell it out? Don't snap at me. If you're going to take a leak, why don't you say so? Okay, I'm going to take a leak. L E A K. Tickets, please. We have cordon rounds on every corner. We should. That's a standard full price peak return. Don't you have a senior citizen's rail card? I rarely travel by train. Have you seen? That's definitely the bad guy. Dressed as a woman. Yeah, but you could have saved up to a third of the cost. I do not need to indulge in puffling thriftiness. Blimey, you're a funny old bird and no mistake. Tickets, please, sir. Here. Off to Sterling, eh? Yes, we are. Well, I hope you won't be disappointed. It's a miserable place this time of year. Still, Off to Sterling. What? Who the fuck calls England Sterling? I don't want to worry you, but there was something familiar about that guy. Are you sure? You're tired. Perhaps you're mistaken. Mm, maybe. But I didn't like the look in his eyes when he spoke to you. What do you want? Why are you lurking? What do you want? Yeah, you just whacked your nose in the chair. Well done. What are you looking for? It's not your dinner time yet, mate. What do you want? What do you want? Huh? What do you want? Why are you being an ass? Get out. Go on. I'm sure it's not your dinner time. Oh, actually, it is his dinner time. Give me a second. I'm going to go feed the dog. It is actually exactly his dinner time.
I need to feed the pigs too. Sorry about that. Pardon me. She must be deaf. Yes, my dear. Do you know what time we're due in Sterling? A quarter to six. But we're running eight minutes late. Do you know Sterling well? Yes, I do. Is that where you two love birds abound? Yeah, we it's one of the places we thought we'd see on our holiday. Be sure to visit the castle, won't you? Oh, I'm sure it's a neat place. But we are not really interested in history, are we, George? Oh yeah, we have a new emote, guys. Actually, I quite like Happy. Happy looks fine in the chat. I might keep Happy. Is there a church called St. Ninian's at Sterling? Yes, there is. And I know why you're going there. You do? Of course I do. It's obvious you're in love. You're eloping, and they say a romance is dead. What's the book you're reading? Oh, it's something I picked up at the station. A medieval detective story. Quite well written for that kind of thing. It's been out of print for years. What's the title of the book? The Crooked Crusader Caper by Molly Pegram. I assumed the author was a woman, but apparently not. His real name is... Professor Nigel Pegram. That's right. Do you know him? No, I never met him. George is a great fan of these, though. Would you believe that this clown's nose led us to being on this train huh. tonight? Here shows everyone. This is basically the bad guy. You can see, look at that face. You can see the scar there on his face. You have an honest face. Yep. That's a nose with a history all right. Like how are they sat that close to him and not able to see that's the bad guy? I'm going to show him the picture of himself now. You know what this is? Yes, I do. Hey, a kill him. Of mine shook my hand with one just the other day. Yeah? Well, that's outrageous. He should be shot. Perhaps. Oh my Those god! Intentions were good. I'm sorry that you've been <coughs> zapped by one of these things. He's been you zapped by should. that one. By that exact one, George. Can't you sit still, George? He has! He's got the evil voice as well! Check out the buffet card, George. Unthinkable though it is, I am hungry enough to eat English food. Okay. Fuck that bitch. English food is lovely. Hi. Having a party? No. He says breakfast. Come on, join us, Mum. Ruckus. Wake up, Mum. What's company? His breath was like the outlet from a chemical factory. Excuse me, mate. He's taking a nap, sleeping like a baby. And wait a move when we get to Newcastle. We passed through Newcastle half an hour ago. And I never noticed. <laughs> what? Is that stuff you're drinking? It smells like gasoline. Really? Help you tears in your chest, Lake. And your eyeballs too, by the looks of you. Would you like a red nose? Oh, thanks, pal. I got one of my own. Have you ever seen this man before? Aye, man. He's chalky white, and I claim my ten quid, Lake. No, he's an international assassin, and he goes by the name Khan. Well, I thought, but I was close, you know. Do you know what this is? No, man, what is it? No, it's man. You won't catch me up with that, pal. You know, I would like to say that people from Newcastle don't sound this way, but as I spend every day listening to people from Newcastle talk, they sound like this. <laughs> See you later. 
prevent open knock and window foul. Why not? It's freezing out there. Smoking car. Okay, maybe he did scare me. It got worse. I suddenly realized who the conductor had reminded me of. Andrew, Marquis's brother. The door was locked. The door was locked. I really didn't want to shoot the freezer with this guy. Can I go past him? No, obviously not. How am I? I'm doing alright. I had today off. I haven't really done anything. I should have known better than to leave Nico and the old lady alone. Suddenly, the sword of Bafama took second place to finding the girl I loved. <laughs> the girl I loved. Hey, buddy. Listen, I need your help. Was a mother? There's a guy on this train who's trying to kill me. Relax, man. You wouldn't try nothing with us in Batteria. We are veterans like so harsh in that writing seat. I don't recall the British Army being involved in a conflict in anywhere called Brightly. Well, you just take it from me, pal. You're in safe hands. Did you see what happened to the young woman in the next compartment? No, pal. I didn't. Have you lost her, like? She's disappeared. The old lady, too. I think they're in trouble. Oh, wait, yeah, man. An old lady, too? Yeah. You gotta help me. Maybe they went to the toilet, like? I don't think so. You never go on her own. I was in pairs, you know? <laughs> no, she'd been abducted. I'm sure. I've got to go look for her. What's stopping you, pal? The conductor. He's not what he seems. You don't want to avoid him, like? That's about it, yeah. No problem. See you later. Can I go through the window now? Yeah. Do you do it, pal? Do it, jump! I don't intend to jump. I'm going to climb on top of the train. You're kidding, aren't you? Just watch me. Gonna chuck us out. It's very trusting of a drunk. I'm pretty sure this is where we can die. Stop the train. And now was my chance. 
They really have. They've got rid of the death scene. If you don't do it by yourself, they force you into the action that saves you. That fucking sucks. I wanted my death scene. Yeah, this is the end of the game. This is like the very end of the game. What are the Neo Templars after? What is the sword of Baphomet? Not what you think, my friend. It is a weapon, yes, but one which our enemies will find difficult to wield. A double-edged sword. A power older than Dimole, older than Solomon. We'll stop them. You and me together. And yeah, I kind of thought they had as well. But it's sad. Tell me straight what they're after. The sword symbolizes a colossal energy caused by the alignment of the Earth's natural power fields. Which are focused at St. Ninian's. The energy endowed the Templars with the power which made them great. A power which made them charismatic to such an extent they could control the will. How did you escape from the bull's head? It is a long walk from the cliff of the bull to the village, Stobart. Fortunately, I know the ways of the wilderness. Hmm. Maybe not. Hmm. No way. May Allah guide you to our enemies. Thanks. What is it? He's dead. Don't worry. I hadn't forgotten about you. Untie me this instant, Jean Stobart. I will. When I'm ready. Ah, that's not fair, Georges. No. You took advantage while my hands were tied. When Eklund pointed that gun at me, I thought I was going to die. I thought of all the things I'd never get to He do. didn't get consent. It was at the top of my list. Josh? Uh-huh? Josh, we've got to get off the train. Basically, a sexual deviant at this waiting. point. I'd feel happier if we had a gun or something. Khan gave me something. What? His handbag. Oh, great. <laughs> if we run into any killers, we can give him a good buffeting. Didn't he have any weapons? You don't know half of it. This bag's full of C4. Wow. Why didn't you say so? Boy, we'll show him now. What's C4? Plastic. What's C4? Our way to victory? Two kilos of plastic explosives. The detonator's broken now. No problem. We'll buy a box of matches somewhere. It doesn't work that way. It takes a small explosion to start the big explosion. Well, that's not much use then. What does that sign say? Uh, apparently, during the English Civil War in the mid 17th century, this place was used as an arms dump. Yeah? What happened? Look at the state of this place, George. You work it out. Oh, stray spark? You got it. The tower was the only thing to survive the blast. I hope the explosion didn't destroy the sword of Baphomet. Do you? I rather hope it did. The handle turned easily, and the larger wheel began to revolve. Damn! Then the handle came off in my hand. I 
first to handle it the demon's mouth. Hmm. No way. Uh, no. Hmm. I scrambled around in the rubble and found an old clay pipe with a broken stem. Under one of the stones, I found a metal coin which was green with age. It was caked with soil, but what I found was a small cog and spindle. With mounting excitement, I felt something between my fingers. It was short, hard, and black. Something I hadn't expected to find here. It was a, a plastic, plastic pen top. I didn't find anything. Now that the handle was gone, it was easy to remove the cog and spindle. Alright, what am I sticking in this? The cog slipped neatly into the eye socket. With a rasp of metal on stone, I eased the second eye in. Cogs all meshed, it began to turn. Amazing. As soon as I saw the flickering torches, I realized the bogus Templars had beaten us to the sword. But where were they now? And why was it so No, Georges. What? We should have told Schreiber I did, in case he ever noticed the crypt is full of gunpowder. So what? Don't you trust me? It's not a question of trust. She really is pissed off at him. Sure, don't you? Look at that face. She's like, you're such a fucking moron. I am something. Like, chanting. Definitely hear chanting. You're right. I hear it too. What do you suppose they're doing? It wouldn't surprise me if they were holding some kind of satanic sex ritual. So, what are we waiting for? I knew he was going to be like, let's fucking go. <laughs> Look at that face. Look at that. The Fomet. Lovino was right. This place was ancient even to the Templars. This whole place? This is Baphomet? Finally, the truth. The Templars have never worshipped this graven image, no more than they'd worship a rainbow. But, like a rainbow, they regarded it as a symbol of a covenant with God, who'd revealed this place to them. Rosso! Why, the devil's dealing treacherous. On the contrary, Inspector Rosso has been the model of obedience, an important quality in a true Templar. Now be quiet and watch. If you wish to live much longer. Brothers and sisters, we are gathered here to witness the reforging of the sword that was broken. Here before God's sentinel, Baphomet. Grand Master and Knight of Baphomet, we salute and pledge our obedience to you. I salute you. Gatekeeper of the temple. Seven centuries ago, our greatest weapon, the sword of Baphomet, was lost to us. Now we prepare to reforge it, to wield against new enemies. We shall lead the people to a new order, wherein all borders will dissolve. All will be united under the Red Cross of the Templars.
George, we have watched your efforts to stop us with respect. But respect. you realize that you have been misled by our enemies. Both of us want a better world. Fortunately, no harm has been done. We need determined, resourceful men. Okay. What about Pegram and Klausner? You didn't look on them as brothers, only as failures. Three men dead, and you don't give a damn. George, you know that sacrifices are necessary. Every great undertaking. Join you. I'll see you in hell first. Oh. Uh, If well, well. Detective and his beautiful assistant. It's going to be a pleasure killing a pair of you. Josh, what are we going to do? Oh, I don't need to do anything, do I? Because it'll just do it for me in the end. Come on, Nico. We're leaving. You fools. You cannot escape. Guido! Stop them. But master, the powder! That powder is from the English Civil War! You fool. He's over 300 years old! How explosive do you think it can be? I thought it was all over. But Nico had one last trick up her sleeve. Or in her handbag, to be exact. A handbag full of plastic explosives. Maybe, but this stuff is brand new. Why didn't he just run away? didn't stay long in Scotland. George had a vacation to finish, and I had another story to write. Not the real story, of course, but enough half-truth to fill a page and pay my rent for the month. George and I hung out together in Paris. I showed him my favorite restaurants, and he told me his best jokes. You know, Nico, this city holds so many memories for me now. The cafes, the music. The sewers. Tell me about it. The clowns. The jugglers. <laughs> and your pal Labano. Oh, yes, dear Andre. When we first met, and I was doing my detective stuff, you kind of disappeared a lot, Nico. Were you and Labano, uh... There was something happening, but nothing to do with Andre. Uh-huh. It was something from the past that I had to deal with, on my own. So, I dealt with it, and now it's over. 
Hey, did I ever tell you the one about the old Irish couple, the lottery? No, but I think you're going to. Okay, there's this old Irish couple. They've been married forever, like 50 years, and they win the lottery. That's it. That is the game. That one super buff mime. Story says be a dick the whole time and get the. That is basically what this game said. That is basically what we learned from this game. But yeah, we've done it. We did it. It took nearly 11 hours, but we completed it. I hope you guys enjoyed it. That isn't as good as the original game. Like, there weren't that many added things with Nico to make it worth it. The new animation style wasn't as pretty. The fact they got rid of the entire opening cutscene is kind of sad. Um, the fact that they took away the fact that you could die was pretty sad. But... It's still pretty good. Still pretty good. We are we are going to play another game. But um, as I said at the beginning of the stream, OBS from the minute I press start stream is struggling. It, it's got like it's in red, and it's saying that it's experiencing issues, and it keeps beeping at me because it keeps dropping fra frames. I have no idea why, because I restarted my entire computer just a minute ago, and it was fine. But I'm going to restart OBS, so don't go anywhere, because I will be back. But this beeping is getting on my nerves, and I want to try to um, sort that out, because it's winding me up. So, Sean, you know what you've got to do? Sit and chat and entertain people when I try to figure this out. And I'll be back in a second, and we'll pick a new game to play. Alright. <laughs>